Oh boy, what's coming up next? Oh, we're gonna be flexing on him. Definitely bringing that Bravo bass. What's up, bros? I wanted to show you today I got some new amplifiers in from my favorite Brazilian plug, Stetsum. So let's unbox them and see what's inside. Now this one came from uh, straight from Brazil, so it will, uh, had to go through customs. That's why there's extra tape and all that stuff. But this would be the 10th or 11th amplifier, 10th and 11th amplifier that I have gotten um, from the motherland of Brazil. They gotta, you know, pack things right because it's gotta go internationally. But from Texas to Brazil, I get it. There we go. Got it open. Okay. But I got a tool bit, tool bit, tool bench filled crap. Oh, the new Bravo Flex 3K. These are going to be sweeping the shows, man. The Bass Flex 3K. These are, this is, if you look right there, half ohm to two ohms. It does its 3,000 watts RMS. Huh? Huh? Dude. The Bravo Bass Flex 3K. Very excited to try those. Um, I, might, I might find some woofers that we can wire to two ohm and just see how hard they fucking can beat. And then this one, I asked for the Bravo Bass 5000, but I, which one's gonna, which one would make more watts, you know? It's like you wire this thing to one ohm and then after box rise, but then you have this thing that you could wire to one ohm and the box rise is not as bad because of the technology, the flex technology inside. But I had wanted a uh, five, I'm opening this 5000 up right now. I had wanted this 5000 for my work truck because I have uh, the four eights under the seat and each of those eights, this matches my uh, my eight Ks in my uh, my truck. So that's, I mean, my eight Ks in my Suburban. So I was like, oh, I gotta give you a five K version. Yeah, so I'll have to add some power, uh, uh, extra power run in the truck, but this is gonna deliver some badass watts. Uh, or the Flex 3K, I don't know, but the 5K is what I really, really wanted in there. Um, I mean, yeah, the 5K. But what I was saying is the the CT uh, Sounds Meso 8, each handle 800 watts RMS. So that's 3,200 uh, watts total. Now, the amplifier I do have in there is a 3,000. So even in its best day, it's gonna get right at 3,000. Well, you know, CT sounds, uh, they can handle a little bit more than what they say. So I just rounded up to a thousand a piece. That's 4,000 after box rise wiring to one ohm. I'll probably be, probably be seeing closer to that 3K actual wattage versus the 5K that you would think of, but that would bridge the gap for the box rise. But with the newest edition of the Flex series, I'm not really sure because this one you can wire down to one ohm and still get maybe the same clamp watts out of the Flex 3K than you would on the Bravo Base 5K that's not Flex technology um, because they just haven't got to it yet. The, the 3K, this is the first one. But um, yes, yeah, so I don't know, two amplifiers that one could see these as um, linear, very, very similar amplifiers. But I think that I wanna run these I want to run this one on a set of subs wired at two ohm to see if I can get them to smack, smack, smack. And then this one, I want to wire to one ohm because I, uh, I uh, factored in the box rise when it comes to those eights. And then if I have the extra, it's always, always, always better to have solid electrical, more wattage than what your subwoofers need. Because if it's the other way around, then you have an amplifier that's working twice as hard because you got it cranked up all the way with less voltage and it's trying to work every little watt out of it with everything you can this way. I know I got stiff electrical. I know my subs can take some beating and this one, even if I don't turn it up all the way, I mean, I, mean, I, I may have to, but even if I didn't, then I would have a little bit of overhead for wattage because these Bravo base um, amplifiers do their rating. I think my 8K's a uh, Dynode 8500, so I wouldn't think that the 5K would be any much different. You know, 55, 52, whatever the case. But the Flex series, that'll be a fun one uh, because you wired a half ohm, probably 3,500 watts. You wired a two ohm, probably 3,000 watts. So that's not a very big uh, gap to play with. And that's awesome. It's exactly what we want for wattage. 
So coming to you guys to show you the new Bravo Base Flex 3K, but I don't know exactly what we're gonna do it in. I just know that we're gonna test it. But the Bravo Base 5K non-flex is gonna go in the truck. I want I I ordered this one just for the truck build because I want to see my eights get done. So thank you guys for watching and um god damn it again, upside down. Thank you guys for watching. And if you need anything from Stetsum, get it directly from Brazil at stetsumstore.com and you can hit the link in my bio and i got stetsum linked in there all the time thank you guys and i love repping team stetsum over here in texas peace out